Hi guys, we are here at the main retail store of Morse Costumes here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Can't wait to show you the inside of this place. It's amazing. They go all out for Halloween. Yeah, so <laughs> let's go. I used to come here for Dr. Evil's haunted house in the back. I'll, we'll go back there and look real quick and see if there's any remnants of the haunted house still back there. But yeah, they had like a UFO crash site. They had the haunted house. There were, there were like two different haunted houses you can go to. So yeah, this is Morris Costumes, one of the main leaders of Halloween in the entire world. So as soon as you enter the entrance to Morris Costume, you're greeted by this murdering grandma. You got some ghosts here with your pumpkins. And then you've got Alfred the butler here waiting for you. So let's go inside. Check this out. This is amazing. Got all these cool props, animatronics everywhere. Get the thin man. You got Jack right there. Jack and Sally there. You got these uh, juveniles locked up. Dress, one's dressed as a clown. Check that spider out. That spider is amazing. Look at the detail on them. Then over here, you got this cool entryway. They got some great prices too on their Halloween decorations. We'll go down here. This is like a trans world, like a mini trans world uh, display. <laughs> Check out all these animatronics. Check out the skull here. Stone paint on them. You got these cool standees here. Check out their Superman. You got the pirate. You got Sally, the animated laughing lady. There's Goguru and Yoda. And over here, you got these cool clowns here. That's Mr. Happy with this little catch of the day. Yeah, look at all these. These are awesome. Check out that corpse. Look at the detail on that corpse. Oh. Okay, works for me. And you got this huge, check him out, Root of Evil. Little girl, she, yeah, she looks pretty possessed. Got this bear here, he doesn't look too well. Let's see how much he is, he is 45. Wow, pretty creepy. And they do tuxedo rentals also. Look at all these props. For your house all through here get the different size clown you can hang up get all these different skulls get this alien skull alien body shit the size of him out he's huge and here's some of your costumes along here you got the peering guy looking out the window he looks pretty cool there's a mike myers costume there's a scream let's see what he does Nothing. Battery's probably dead. That's all right. Beetlejuice. A lot of cool clown outfits. And this is just one little side here. I love these portraits here that change when you move around. You got these right here. You got the hanging witch. You got a evil looking dude here. Check these out. Cool signs to hang up around the house. You got these Charlie haunted dolls. Those are pretty wicked bag of dead mouses oh wow all kinds of cool stuff stuff for your fog machine which i still haven't picked up one need to get them got these cool snakes check those snakes out get crime tape that's fun to put around the house too check out this dude on the horse the reaper he's 500 for him Check out the tree here shaking. All these ghosts. There's Yoda there. He's just chilling out. 
got these uh, creepy angel tombstone looking thing and the gargoyles. He's pretty cool looking. Vol. And it looks like, uh, yeah, he's not on right now. Let me walk a little closer. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow. So you got these uh, little monster prototypes. Those are pretty cool. You got Jack here riding the uh, jacket lantern. And you got some of the uh, costumes here. You got Oogie Boogie. There's Zero there. Wow, let's go on and see what kind of masks they have. I'm really digging these gloves here. You got the zombies here. It's got fabric underneath, which just makes it a lot more uh, easy to move your hands around. But that's pretty cool. Get the severed head over here. Get more body parts, more gloves along here to go with your costume to match up with whatever your creature you're doing. If you're doing like a werewolf or something, these are really cool. All these extra props laying around here that you can use for your yard, the inside of the house. All these spiders. Check out all these accessories here for your costumes cool Batman accessories all along here. The utility belt, that's pretty great, pretty cool. That little Batman here. So different sizes, you have the kids and adult sizes. Costumes all through these aisles. They also have a huge rental area, I'll show you that. Spider-Man, so you get Marvel and DC together there. All these Harry Potter, different uh, ties and wands and his glasses. Look at this. Colorful, amazing costumes and wigs. Yeah, I'm loving these here. Let's check these wigs out. Look at these. $19. That's actually a very cool wig. I'd wear something like that. Check out the clown wig. That's so cool. Man. All the different makeup all along here. Also your uh, different effects for the transfers you put on. For like wounds, scars, morphs. But through the years has been an incredible place to come and get your costumes for parties for the season of Halloween even for movies and stuff like that people have come and rent their costumes check out Bigfoot there he is right there there he is there's Bigfoot y'all go right here pretty incredible selection of props costumes makeup accessories we'll walk down here so you can see the aisles upon aisles of wonderful costumes and wigs wow all the makeup that you need you get your teeth all along here nightmares these are cool looking and the price is not bad check that out not bad at all the zombie teeth look at that the crud ogre teeth here Wow, wow. Man. And there's some more masks here. There's Captain Picard. There's one of the Halloween masks from Halloween 3. The Witch. Wow. I like to get all three of those. The pumpkin, the skull, and this one. The Witch. You got these cool scarecrow ones here. I'm just doing all this and a lot of this in one take. Check out the scarecrows. Those are awesome. Go over here. More of your kid costumes and accessories here. Like Vader, Kylo Ren, different uh, stormtroopers. Look at all this. And they do have like deluxe costumes too. Man. Everything you need. <laughs> wow. We're going to try to hit one of their Halloween Express stores too. Um and see what they have there but this one is like the the main headquarters so you're going to probably find everything you need in this store 
for your costume needs. Check out those clowns. Those are cool. Oh, man. The trick or treat. Christopher Lee Dracula. That is amazing. Love that there. Check the space helmet up there. Whole spacesuit right there. That's very cool. But yeah, this is the season. You come. You come here, man. You're going to find everything. Check these Marvel masks. The Wolverine. You also got uh, Hellboy. That Death Eater right there, too. Yeah, I love this Christopher Lee mask. That is so cool. Check this guy here. That's pretty nasty. And you got Chucky. There's the Halloween 3 skull one here. Man. You get an array of choices of hats, too. From your low quality to your high end quality hat. I mean, they have all versions affordable uh, to the expensive version to add to your collection. Check out these face masks. Oh, check them out. Day of the Dead. This looks awesome. Wow. He looks amazing. Wow, look at the these. There's Jason there. Check him out. Hey there. Are you here. Got all these here. Oh, wow. Look at this one here. Cool. See, here's the rental section. All the rental costumes all through here. Not hundreds, but thousands of costumes. They maintain them here. They got the Easter Bunny. They got different animals. There you go. There's Chippendale. All kinds of cool stuff. Pinocchio. They also got if you like if you want to do reenactment stuff like World War II stuff. Man, I just thought I'd walk you through here. Sesame Street. There's Garfield. Look at all these suits. All these wonderful costumes. All made here, too. Most of them all made in-house. All those headpieces, all the snowmen here. Frosty, Popeye. Look at all these. Amazing, amazing. Some of these have been around for years, too. A lot of vintage costumes all through here. Look at all the headpieces. Different holidays. There you go, a leprechaun. For your St. Patty's Day. Tons of bunny rabbits for Easter. You get the 1920s. Check these eight masks out. Wow, those are pretty cool. Dr. Evil's Halloween Hollywood movie prop. That is cool. It's only 34. That's actually really nicely detailed. Get your Mike Myers mask up here. Trick or treat. Wow. But yeah, check that out. Look at all the Rudolphs. Got the Elvis Presley. All these Elvis Presley costumes. They got the wig for Elvis here too. But all the Easter bunnies. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? You got all kinds of different themes. These are beautiful here too. The colors. Wow. Like mariachi stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Snow White, Dorothy, Scarecrow, so you get the Wizard of Oz all along here, and there's uh, the Lion, the Cowardly Lion costume, Tin Man, Panda, <laughs> they do pretty well for Easter, check that out. All these bunnies. Like I said, all made here. All in house. And check out this Captain Spaulding from Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. The detail is amazing. Look at that. That is so cool. That spawn is really neat. Yeah, kind of a messed up Beetlejuice there, but Spawn is really, really nice. That's nice. And this guy here, look at the detail of him. It's kind of a pumpkin looking Groot uh, mask. Ghoulish Productions. 
wow, he is pretty cool. You gotta look at this one here. It's like a possessed corn <laughs> from Ghoulish Productions. Wow, that's pretty insane. This is pretty cool, the Violator Clown from Spawn. Wow, look at him. He's like 59 bucks, but very cool. Love the paint job. Check out the veins. I mean, they get really detailed on this. Very nice mask. And this one here is the Dark Man mask from Trick or Treat. I need to get another one. I used to have one. The detailing on that is phenomenal. Then we've got Grandpa from the Monsters. Got an official Walking Dead zombie mask. Then Pennywise, Avatar, and then the classic Mummy right here. And all these cool accessories. These are your Egyptian Pharaoh accessories. Got this really cool leather face mask too. Really nicely detailed. I think that's from Trick or Treat. Yeah, that's Trick or Treat too. It's only $29. It wraps around just like uh, it would on his face. That is the detailing on that and the paint job. And the herring is really well done for 29 bucks. Check out these scary animals. Yeah, mouth moves too. Those are pretty frightening. Hello there, little one. Want some candy? Come on, it's free. It's real good. I think you're going to love it. It really packs a wallop. <laughs> I think that's Bates' mom. She's 600. Let's see if she moves at all. Yep. She's very cool though. I'm guessing she comes she comes with a rocking chair. Let's see what these guys do. Hey you! Can you help me get down from here? I can't take this hanging around anymore. <laughs> so I decided I decided to get Leatherface. Great price. Yeah. And he looks awesome. So I wanted to take you back here. They were telling me there's not really much left of the old Dr. Evil haunted house. Um, what they did is they built it inside the main warehouse years ago. And uh, I remember the scare actors would come out uh, on the side of the building here. I'll show you that. So right here was where you'd enter and uh, get in costume. They had all the dress rooms back in there. Then over here they would have a kind of a carnival set up. You'd have all your carnival um tents here and then back here you'd have like the different ride you have a couple rides out here and um they have it all set up just themed out big time they had zombies out here like carnage and wreck vehicles it was really cool and i miss the old carnival that was back here just like the, you know they had all the freak show stuff it was really neat like creep show and it was really neat so over here yeah, you can see you can see some of the outlines. This is the entryway, and you get your ticket right there. That's where you get your ticket for to go inside the haunted house. They'd have two entrances and exits right here. So you go in here to the haunted house, then over there you can barely see the outline of the where the spaceship was. It'd be crashed through the side of the building. You see the bolts are still there where it would hold the the uh, spaceship up. If you look carefully, see the bolts up there? And you kind of see the outline right through here of where the ship was. And it was so cool, man. You go in here and just have a blast, get scared to death. You come out here, and but you go in here, be all themed out. And over here was the haunted house section. And right up there, you see some of the outline of some of the stuff they used to have from the house. But it'll be all themed out and part of the wall there. Man, those were good times. Those were good times. That was the main entryway there to the inside. I'll post, I'll try to find some stuff online. I posted with this video so you can kind of get an idea what it used to look like. So yeah, it was good times. I miss this place. A lot of memories were here for Dr. Evil's Haunted House. And yeah, cause Phil would come out and he'd be in costume like the ringmaster and then everybody would have their zombie outfits on and makeup. It was they just just top notch and the animatronics in there were phenomenal but i'll share some of that in this video too so you can see what it used to look like so i hope you enjoyed this video is one of my 
favorite places to come and get all my Halloween needs meant <laughs> my mask and and costume needs everything was here at this store and uh, they always have it nicely themed out man it was it's nice now and they do a great job every year so I hope you like this video please like it subscribe also if you want to ring the notification bell you can find out when I have new videos being posted so you guys take care and we have more stuff coming up really soon all right see you later bye bye